everybody or afternoon or evening depending on what time you're watching um you might have seen a vlog that i did that showed my storage space and in that i'd cleared some plastic drawers from cake decorating stuff that i'd got um if any of you have watched other videos you might have heard me mention that i used to do wedding cakes and birthday cakes and things like that and i had a lot of stuff so I found these out while I was doing it and I thought of, I would experiment and see how they work with um, nails. I don't see why there would be any difference. Uh, but these are glitters and colours. Um, most of these are glitters. Some of them are solid colours like a powder, um, so like a pigment. And I've also got these, which I'll do a bit later. Uh, these are called edible tints and in making flowers you used to use these like to dust the colour very strongly pigmented uh, onto the centre of the flowers and things or you could mix it with um, isopropyl alcohol and paint with it um, so I'm going to have a go with those as well um, so like for example I would do uh, a rose and I would paint the centre of the rose darker and the outside lighter and things like that. Uh, and I've also got in here these which were electric, they were called electric yellow, electric blue, whatever. Uh, and I've just found this one out so far. And the very, very strong um, food colourings. Um, <clears throat> and the reason for that is that they were so strong because you could use a tiny little bit. So I wondered about painting um, with those. Um, so I bought myself this, which is like a, a blooming gel, um, a clear blooming gel. So I don't know, might do some sort of combination with them and see how they come out. Um, but for first, I'll, I'll show you these now. There was a lot of controversy about these uh, cake glitters at one point. Um, people were calling them edible glitters and technically speaking, they weren't edible um, because they were more food contact safe, but they were recommended to be moved or you should have moved them off the cake. So for example, I did a cake with a big shoe on it and then I would paint certain areas of the shoe with uh, these glitters. So technically, it was all made of sugar with this on. So people were saying that it was edible, but really it wasn't. So if you look at the difference in the spelling, edible, it, no, it's not edible. Um, these three were not that you'd want to eat your nails when you've done them anyway, but I'm just explaining why there's a difference in these. So these, I have seen YouTube videos where people make their own glitter. Um, <clears throat> and you can make it with glycerin. So these dissolve, they're like a sugary uh, consistency. So they might be nice to sprinkle on top, but they'd probably dissolve in anything. I don't know. I might have a play. Um, if I show you this ivory one, you'll see more what I mean. Uh, you see, it looks like little, um, it just glistens rather than glitters. So that's like the proper edible. If you wet that, it would uh, disintegrate. So, that's not the sort of thing that I think is gonna be good for nails. However, this, that they were trying to get away with saying was edible, um, is made for food contact for removable cake decoration. So if a tiny bit of it went on your cake, it won't be a problem was the theory, but you won't want to eat, eat the whole thing. And there's loads of glitters. 
Um, I'll put my light on and see if you can see, because I'm just in daylight at the minute. Let's put this light on. Hold on. Right, see if that light makes a difference. Like this. Um, I think in America you called it disco dust. They are super, super sparkly. So, I'm going to have a try at using these. Because I've got quite a lot of them. I've got loads of colours. I've got silvers and pinks and I've got a fantastic purple called uh, Supernova Purple. Um, I've not even opened this one yet. I really do hope that I'm picking it up like it is for me. Right, so oh, they look nice on my nails now. So I'm gonna have a go with this. If it works, I have got here six that are doubling up in colours. <clears throat> so six I've already got. And there's a red supernova purple, a gold, a black, which has got like tiny bits of green in as usual with black, a pastel pink, and a pastel blue. So I'm going to put these on one side because I'm going to start doing a little collection of stuff to go into a giveaway for 250 subscribers. So. I'll put those on, so if they do work out, then I'll put those in me, in my little collection. Right, so let's get some acrylic out and have a go. Okay, so I'm going to do them on the outside of these tips and the six colours that would be included uh, in the giveaway if it works. Oops. Get through this out. Now these glitters are made of bits of plastic, so how anybody ever said that you could eat all oh, this, I'll never know. I'm just going to have to move these pots because I keep having to put my arm across. Beautiful. Just the same as... Um, any other glitter. I'll do one more on this one. That's a uh, pastel pink. Uh, I'll get another and we'll do pastel blue. If I move it over here, I might get on better. That is lovely. That 
is really lovely. I'm not going to town on it because uh, it's not on my na on nails, is it? But I just wanted to show you the colours, really, and show you that, yeah, it's not dissolving in the monomer or anything. It's just as it should be. So, beautiful pastel blue. Then I've got a, uh, oh, this is the, Supernova purple. <laughs> I've caught end off that tip for some reason. It is really, really fine, tiny, I'll spread it out so you can see, uh, it's really, really tiny specks of glitter. But I can get full coverage with it. thinking it is so fine putting it on like this then you probably won't even need to encapsulate it it's already encapsulated with it So if you let it just sit a minute, you can get full cover. It's beautiful. So it's open over purple. And the next one, hologram gold. This looks a bit chunkier. It's not chunky, it's just as fine. See? Very, very fine.
should have got some smaller tips. I might do half a tip. Some of the colours. I'm using an old brush. Um, I don't want to use my best nail brush for samples. I've got two more in this set of six, which is hologram red and then hologram black. Beautiful Christmas colour this. Stunning red with tiny flecks of green. Gorgeous. So it looks nice spread out. You can see the green in it. <clears throat> right, so I'll add these into the little parcel uh, and we'll see as the weeks or whatever go along as it takes to build up the uh, subscribers. And I'll, um, I'll add other bits and pieces to it. Make it like a little goodie box. Lovely. Oops, made a mess on the end of that one. And black. This will have green in it as well. So that's it spread out, not that fussed on it spread out.
I'm definitely making my beads too runny. Pick up me and get rid of some of that one. That's better. That's better for solid colour. I always forget about that bit. There. Not my favourite, but not my favourite, but it's there. Look, you can see red, gold and green in that. Right, so that's three. Can you see? I didn't think you could tell before, but you can just tell, show it against the white. You can just tell that one's got a hint of pink in it and one's a hint of blue. So thank you all for watching. It just leaves for me to put some top coat on these now. Uh, I've not filed them or encapsulated them or anything. I'll just go in with some no white top coat. Just so you can see the finished colours. And uh, I hope that was relaxing for you today. It's just a quickie because I've uh, got loads of editing to do. And uh, it's going to take me ages. I love doing the nails but the editing. Oh. <laughs> it's putting all the hundreds of snippets together that does it. So I just thought I'll show you these because I'm going to uh, try and come up with some other things and pop them into uh, some sort of giveaway at some point. I love that purple. That is just delicious. I must do something with that. So not a giveaway as yet. We'll wait until we've got a few more things in and... Uh, I think at the time of editing this I'm on about 225 so thank you everybody that has subscribed uh, and when we get to 250 uh, I'll come up with what we're going to do for for getting hold of the giveaway so once again thank you all for joining thank you all for watching commenting uh, liking subscribing whatever else you're doing for me it really is a big help and uh, I will see you in the next one Love you loads. Take care, everybody. Take care of each other. Bye.